Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that break in the music, it can only mean one thing. What's going on, everybody? Syntax is already in the chat. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday afternoon. Happy BIS Day. What does BIS stand for? That stands for best in slot, ladies and gentlemen. That 100% stands for best in slot. Hey, it's your boy Epic Vision, and we're getting ready to do what we do best, and that's bringing you another edition of World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore. How is everybody doing? It's the second stream of the day, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, if you were up early in the morning like I was, because your dog, that's my dog right there, that's Milton, woke me up because he wanted to go outside. Um, we got to jump on before work. That's right, your boy worked from home today, and it was a busy day for a Friday. I even worked late. I did, and I'm still on call, technically, but we're here. We're live, and uh, we're ready to jump in the video game. Hey, the stream this morning, really good, about an hour and a half long, man. Knocked out some questy boys. Yeah, it was a good time. We're killing Naga out in Feralis. Somebody left me a comment wanting to know what this screen is right here. Okay. This screen right here and this screen are both attached to this computer. Okay. This computer is sending out the highest possible quality stream to Twitch. And that's my Twitch stream in OBS right there. That's what that is. And sometimes you can see some of the screen. Raise your hand if you're there for both streams. Yeah, Syntax was there. Syntax was there. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. So, yeah, that's what's going on. That's what's happening. Hey, we got some coffee. I literally just got done with work. Went upstairs, made a cup of coffee, kissed my babies, came straight back down. Yeah. Oh, you know what we got to do? We got to go ahead and... Do -do 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 -do. Let's do this. Lower left-hand corner of the screen. And here are my posts. So we're going to go live on Blue Sky, letting them know, hey, your boy's live. So we're out there on Blue Sky. Hey, we're out here on we're out here on Threads, okay? And we're now live out there. We're not live. I shouldn't say that. We're posting that we're live, okay? And then here's the OG, the old school, the original X, which used to be Twitter, but now it's X, right? Letting them know what we're doing. Hey, it's happy best in slot day. We're playing for the Alliance and Epic Vision. That's me. Your boy is live on Twitch, on Kick, and on YouTube. And hey, this is what we're doing. We're part 12. We're almost to level 50. We're currently 46. We're playing the Paladin. We're leveling hardcore style in World of Warcraft Classic. And if you die, you become a ghost. And here's all the hashtags in the link. All right, so that's what's happening there. Yeah, how about that? Here's uh, the GG software. This is what we use to break down the audio for the stream. Yeah, all right, let's go back to this. Still in the lower left-hand corner. Now we can get full view of this beauty. Epic Light level 46 is out in Feralis. We're slaying the Naga, all right? That's what we're doing. We're slaying Naga. But hey, before we do all of that, before we do all of that, I do have a special treat for you all. Hopefully he's still there. Lore, Lore, are you in the headset, my good friend? Lore, are you there? No, I'm here. Ah, oh, there he is. There he is. Hey, he was getting a little bit tired. Contemplated maybe jumping off. But um, I said, hey, let's just see how long you can go for. If you don't want to, that's fine. Take your nap. We got all night to game. Jump back in. But hey, we got Lore in the chat. And uh, depending on what Syntax has going on, maybe he'll jump in the chat later. But um, without further ado, the video game, Epic Light 46 for Alice. Let's go. Yeah, man. Feeling really good. I had a meeting that I had to handle it was really more of an appointment it was an onboarding so to speak right at three o'clock and usually three o'clock is the end of my office hours so your boy put in an extra 45 minutes but it was for the big boss and it was all good i didn't have to drive today at all in fact i've hardly left this office been in this office since when about 4 30 this morning we're coming up on four, almost 12 hours in this office i've gotten out of this office to you know bio breaks, take my dog out, have a quick lunch, and re replenish the beverages. That's been it. Otherwise, your boy's been in here. Dedicated to the love of the game. Dedicated to pro my professional job. And now, back in for the love of the game. Alright, Lars said his in with his druid. His in Stormwind City. Oh, there were supposed to be world buffs dropping today. What time were those at? Do you remember? Oh. I thought it was like I think we missed them. I think we missed them. 350 is what I have my alarm set for. People are asking right now, one of the world buffs. 
do, 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 do. If world buffs were about to drop, in looking for group here, this is I'm in I'm in um, looking for group. Usually people are spamming. Um, they're ready for summons. You know, they're for a gold or two, you can get summoned to Booty Bay, which is what I would rather do. I'd rather pay the money. It says 550, which is 450 our time, right? He just said 550. 550. Now there hasn't been any updates in the Defies Pillager Discord channel, and if you follow my Discord, you get all the world buff updates as soon as they're posted in that Defias Pillagers Discord. Um, but for whatever reason, these ones have not been posted, so... As I looked earlier, when I heard of a hint, an inkling, that possibly the typical world buffs that Hardcore Elite drops at the same time, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which is 2.50 server time, was getting pushed back today. So, if this is 5.50, that means 4.50, that means in 30 minutes. Maybe what I do, I'd like to see some confirmation on that, because I don't want to head all the way back to Stormwind. I don't want to burn my stone. Can we make it back to Stormwind in a half an hour from here? Without burning my stone, without getting a summon? I think we can, right? Let's see here. Oh, it feels so good to be in the video game, everybody. It feels so good. Did you ever have like a long, a long day or a long week at work, and all you want to do is get back and play your favorite video game? Maybe it's watch your favorite movie or your TV show or whatever helps you relax. This is what helps me relax. This is what helps me relax. Maybe... Do we go to Dustwallow March or Ratchet? I mean, we could just go to Ratchet and take the boat across. It's kind of like a horse apiece, right? But I think Ratchet's the ticket seven minutes, so it's actually going to work out perfect. It's going to work out perfect. How's everybody doing today, huh? Oh, it's so nice. Hey, we're going to have a busy weekend here, okay? So I don't know how much I'm going to be on other than tonight. I'm sure I'll be on both Saturday and Sunday, but we got a lot of IRL stuff to do. Yeah. Number one, your boy has to do his taxes. That's right. I got to square off with Uncle Sam and let him know, hey, I paid my fair share. Probably even more. And that interest-free loan I've been giving you all year, yeah, you need to chuck that back my way, please. So we got to get that done. All right? The wife has a list, a honey-do list. A kitty do list. That's right, the kids and her honey. That's me. We have to get a whole bunch of stuff done. So, she wants to do some more spring cleaning. We got curtain rods to hang up in three bedrooms, along with sheer curtains and curtains. Yeah, we're finally gonna we're finally gonna make our our house a home. <laughs> Have, hey, we've had temporary blinds on our windows pretty much since we moved in, and uh, now it's time to uh, to get that all squared away. We got a hanging lamp to hang in the boys' room. We got some special childproof extension cords, outlet covers that we got to put on. We got to get that done. So that's all part of the. That's going to be all part of the game this weekend. Your boy needs to take his TV back that I was going to use for my gaming monitor because it doesn't do what I need it to do. Got to get that done. And the list goes on and on. But we're going to have a great weekend, man. Tonight's going to be leftovers for dinner, so hopefully that's easy on the whole family, especially Mrs. Epic Vision. Um, she made a, a a ginger pork stir fry last night with fresh green beans, red peppers, um, cilantro. I think it's cilantro. See the cilantro or mint on top. A little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of toasted sesame seed uh, over white rice, bas um, basmati rice. Your boy's right here. Maybe it's jasmine rice. I'm not sure. It's one of the two. So I think that's what I'm having for dinner tonight. We got the coffee now, the water now. I just finished the best in slot vitamin water. Um, hi, Sam Solo. That's your key? Okay, that's the charger for your car. Are you going to call that your key? You're messing with your car right now? You, you really want to play your car, huh, buddy? Yeah, I know. I know. We'll get it outside this weekend, okay? And you'll get to drive. All right? We're not doing it today. I told you already, okay? But we'll, we'll get it. It's supposed to be really nice tomorrow and even nicer on Sunday. Yeah. We'll get your car out tomorrow. We'll let you go out there for a little while tomorrow. Not too long, but a little while, okay? Hmm? We'll stay we'll stay out until the battery dies. How's that? We can't stay outside all day. We got a lot of stuff to do. I was just telling all the beautiful people on the stream all the stuff that mom needs us to get done, okay? In the house. It's almost time there's gonna be warm almost every day, buddy, for months, okay? 
Morgan the Collector just got somebody. Morgan the Collector. Hey, where are they? They're at the farm where Princess is. Yeah, Princess the Pig and her entourage. Yeah. Hey, if you level up a human and you know about Elwyn Forest, you know about Morgan the Collector and Princess. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And if you don't, now you do. Happy Biz Day. That's right. Happy Best in Slot Day. Your boy's ready, man. Your boy's ready. Like, I want to hit 50 so bad on this Paladin. And then it's the grind to 60, right? So 50 to 60. We're at level 46. We're more than halfway through the experience bar. It is coming, folks. It is absolutely coming. We got coffee. And you know what? When I made my coffee, normally I do breakfast blend in the morning followed by Pike Place. For whatever reason, I grab the breakfast blend. Okay? Breakfast blend, it's a little bit of a lighter roast. Usually lighter roasted coffee means more caffeine, which is definitely the case here. I've only had one sip of this, and I feel like I'm flying already. Yeah, tonight, man, we got the Red Bull and Guava on deck. Let's hope we can go long, deep, and hard tonight, right? Hey, everybody out there, believe with me, all right? Send positive thoughts, say a prayer. No ISP problems. Our internet service, Spectrum, is going to give us the full bandwidth all night without any hiccups. These computers, this computer here, that computer there, they're going to go full steam ahead. No errors, no blackouts, no glitches, none of that. It's going to be solid, rock solid, yeah. The power company, yeah, the power company is going to continue to provide us the clean, natural energy that we need to power all of this wonderful equipment. So you and I, us and you, you, me, yeah, you know who I'm talking about. We can do this thing together. All right, so knock on wood, say your prayers, whatever it is that you do to send positive positivity in the direction of your boy here in the upper Midwest of the United States of America, in the great state of Wisconsin, please do that. Yeah. All right, Dustwallow Marsh. Theramore, I would have landed here, but we're going to take a hop, skip, and a jump north. Yeah, we're going to head north. Not T-H, not N-O-R-T-H, but N-O-R-F, North. We're going to land in Ratchet. And I'm not calling anybody Ratchet, the name of the place where... The port city in Kalamador, with the Blizzard developer's name, is called Ratchet. That's where we're going. Alright. Super windy outside today. Very windy. It's bringing all the warm temperatures. Yeah, winter's behind us, folks. Winter is finally behind us where we are. Spring has sprung. Don't think we're going to get any more snow. I feel pretty confident in saying that. And, uh, yeah. I have parts of my grass that already need to be cut, like the good green parts, which is probably, like, maybe 5% of my grass. <laughs> yeah, Milton, my dog, who I brought up on the stream already earlier, right, is my 125-pound Cane Corso Italian massive dog. Paws as big as my hand, right? He is a big dog. Well, big dogs eat a lot, and they drink a lot. He literally drinks at least a gallon of water a day. It's insane. It's insane. Well, if he drinks all and eats all that, well, you know what that means, right? That means that my yard has burnout spots from where this dog tends to do his business. Yeah, so much, so much nitrogen in his body that the grass is literally brown, and it ain't coming back, so I need a strategy. Yes, Sam Solo. I'm not going to look at your car. What do you need me to do with what do you have to show me that I haven't seen on that car for the past three years that you've had it? Are you okay? I'm not, Papa. Don't be mad, okay? I'm streaming. You know I was streaming. We talked about this already. Okay? Hey, hey, hey. Be calm, Papa. Be calm. Hey, do you have your phone? Take a picture and show me. Take a picture and show me. Okay. All right, here we are. In Rancho. Oh, there's a debris field there, folks. There's a debris field. Let's go fishing. Let's go fishing before this boat comes. The boat just left. The boat just left. But that's okay. That gives us more time to ensure that we get every last morsel, every last bit out of this thing right here. Hey, Sam Solo. I don't want to have to go be right back already, okay? Oh, Morgano the Dwarf broke fell to death in Dunmore. Oh, sorry, buddy. And this is why we fish, folks, for these tightly sealed trunks. Okay? Fishing in these debris fields, 
pretty much like fishing up treasure chests, okay? We're gonna see what's in them. Giving Sam Soul a lot of grace right now. A lot of grace. And we all need it, right? Grace and mercy, we all have our rough days, our rough moments and days. Where if somebody would, were to shed just a little bit of extra kindness your way, could make everything feel better. That's what I'm trying to do with my son right now. We'll time our both world buffs today. 5.50 server time, which is 4.50 our time. Okay, so that's in 22 minutes. Carry the 1 divided by the 2. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Square root of the koi fish in a pie. You guys know how we do it. Yeah, this kid is, uh, this kid is looking to get... Looking to get some stuff taken away or something. I don't know. Doo -doo -doo. Should we open these trunks? We got three of them. Should we see what's in them? All right. Tightly sealed trunk number one. Without further ado, I'm going to take this mouse right here. And I'm going to click this button. Yeah, I'm going to click that button. That's the right button on the mouse. We're going to right click it. Okay, here we go. And we got a bolt of wool cloth and some white leather. Such quality, quality stuff. Okay, here we go. We're going to do the same thing again a second time. Now, we're fishing in Ratchet, which is, you know, like a, a tier two zone. You know, you got your starter zone, you got your second zone. It's like your second zone, so you're going to get second zone stuff out of it, okay? Not to say that it's not useful. There could be a green, there could be a blue. Who knows what's in here, right? Shall we try again? Right click. Let's go. 95 copper. I got 95 copper. And tightly sealed trunk number three. You guys got to see before I did. I heard some money. What's in there? 99 copper. 99 copper. So the first crate actually was a bolt of wool cloth. Here we can show you. Bolt of wool and cloth, light leather, 92 copper. Then 95 copper and 99 copper. Definitely not the greatest haul out of three trunks, right? Hey, but sometimes treasure chests be like that, man. They give you meat and cheese and that's it. Or a crappy gray item, like it happens, right? It happens. Let's keep fishing. Let's keep fishing. What is our fishing skill at? Well, in order to check our fishing skill, we pull up our character tab. We click on the skills to pay the bills tab, and let's just see. Our fishing is at 98 of 150. Yeah, cooking is 257. First aid is 253. We got a little bit of axe skill. Mining is 238. Beginning is 287. Why can't why can't you take a picture, Papa? Too hard. Alright. That's clapping for me. People are looking for summons. Here's our boat. Why can't you take a picture? Why can't you take a picture? Hmm. Hmm. I'm sorry that it's too hard for you to take a picture. You gotta show me. You know what's gonna happen if I go, I'm gonna be right back, right? What's gonna happen? Is that what you want to happen? So I'm on a boat right now, okay? This boat is gonna go across the ocean. It's gonna land in a 
another port town by the name of Booty Bay. Booty. And when it does that, I will go, I'll be right back and I will come take a look at your car. Okay. I'm going to, yeah. Isn't that what you want me to do? I will? Don't be mad, Papa. Don't be mad. You're gonna ruin everything. Why would you say that? That's not an okay. You don't ruin anything. That's not an okay. No, Papa, that's not true. No. Challenger to a Makara. Is it because we're not on a PvP server? Can't Makara on this? I'm gonna go appease this kid. Just one time. I'm gonna let him know. Hey. We can do this. Together. You and I. My son. Who I love. More than anything. Oh, we can't mount here. Tank. Shank has been slain. All right, folks. Here we are in Booty Bay. Booty Bay is about to start popping off. All right. So let's just uh, let's just admire. Let's go. Let's go a little Alt Z action. Yeah. And then uh, we'll do a little Alt Tab action. And we'll go no cam. And we'll just look at Booty Bay. And hey, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna be right back. Don't go anywhere. All right, your boy's back. Your boy's back. This is my Easter basket for my wife, which I've hardly, hardly messed with. And we got some good stuff in here. We got gamer fuel in here. But you know what I want right now? I want a couple of these Mr. Good bars. Yeah, here, you can have a crackle. Mm-hmm. Okay. You don't like the crackles? Yes, you do or no, you don't. You don't like them? Then give it back. What do you want? No, those aren't these. Whatever else is in here is staying right there. Do you want a regular Hershey's or do you want a Hershey's with peanuts? Hershey's with peanuts? Okay, that's the only one though, okay? Alright, Papa. So somehow I just went from two little candy bars to one. And hey, didn't you already have a candy when you came home from school? What is this? What's going on here? How does it you get another candy? <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. All right, buddy. Bruce, what's going on, baby? Welcome to the chat, my friend. Hope your Friday's been great. Okay, Papa. Bigger listener now for that, okay? All right. Here we are, in Booty Bay. What are we doing here? Rumor has it that buffs are going to be dropping. Let's go Alt-Z. Alright. People are advertising 
That's what I'm saying. People are advertising summons. Okay, so what's a bot? What's a bot? For those of you who don't know, okay, as a paladin, almost every class has a buff, okay? As a paladin, I got Blessing of Kings. When I cast it on myself or a party member or any other alliance member, it increases all my stats by 10%, but it only lasts five minutes, right? So almost every class has a buff. Or a debuff, which does the opposite of buffing your stats, you know, making you stronger, let's buff you up type of thing. The developers at Blizzard, who've made this incredible 19-year-old game called World of Warcraft Classic, have implemented something called World Buffs. One guild's 40 people get together and they accomplish incredible tasks, killing and slaying undefeatable bosses until they defeated them. When they turn in the item that they get from slaying the dragon or digging out the heart of a car, they turn those in, and when they do, the entire server gets buffed with an incredible buff that makes everybody super strong. Now, these guilds are not only dropping one buff, but they usually drop two, okay? From doing end game raids. And. They coordinate it. They let the community know, hey, we're dropping the buff at this time. So, if you get get your behind, if you get your booty over to Booty Bay, when they drop the heart of a car, you get the Spirit of Zandalar. That's what's coming. If you get your booty over to Stormwind, when they turn in the head of Anixia, you get the rallying cry of the Dragon Slayer, right? That's what we're hoping to get. It makes our characters super strong for two hours, it brings the whole server together for the most part. And uh, it's pretty cool. Like, look at it. Look at Lore's up there. I see Lore here. I'm going to come up to Lore. Yeah. And this is going to get jam-packed, people. It's going to get jam-packed people up here saying Hardcore's dead and all that. Oh, look at him. He's fancy. He's over here on this roof. Yeah. There he is. There's Lore. What up, homie? Wave. Hi. Cheer. Yes. Alright, Lore's 42. He dinged up in the last stream. And the quest that Lore and I were working on last time, we could, we could, I don't think we technically should, but we could finish this quest right here. The star, the hand, and the heart. We already got the star, okay? That was from the Gilbor Miser dude out in the uh, Arathi Highlands by the cor by the Crush Ridge Warmongers, yeah, where we almost both died. There's clips out there. You guys should go check them out. Give them thumbs up. Share those clips. They're pretty good, I think. Or I actually saved lore twice. I did. I saved them twice. Go out there, look. But we got the star. The hand, the hand, we had to go out into uh, Dustwall of Marsh and kill a whole bunch of murlocs so they could drop us this magical seaweed that we put on this water globe to summon this giant water... It was a, a water giant, in essence. And we took that dude down, too, and took his hand, okay? So we got the star, we got the hand. Now we gotta get the legacy heart, which is super hard. It's from a troll here in... It's right here. It's right here. In Stranglethorn Vale. Yeah. Why is this hard? Well... you know anything about line of sight that is when an enemy is casting a spell at you and you hide behind certain objects they can't cast that spell right they can't see you it happens a lot as a healer when you're trying to heal your tank or a DPS in a dungeon and all of a sudden they go around the corner and you can't heal them and they shouldn't have went around the corner because now they're not gonna get healed and they could die right so you always want to stay in line of sight with your healer when you're fighting an enemy mob that's casting spells at you, you want to break that line of sight. That way they have to move around to cast spells at you. Well, I say all of that to say this. In this rune area here, right? These, these are ruins. Troll ruins, I want to say. There's these, like, brick or stone structures that you can't walk through that are hard to get around, especially when you're getting shot in the back by lightning or frost or fire or shadow. The enemies can cast through those, so there's no running away from them, trying to line a sight them. 
And if we were to go over there, you would see it's densely populated and very dangerous. So, I think we need to be a little bit more, um, a little bit more leveled. We gotta have a good game plan. Or we just get lucky and somebody else has already cleared out the area and we just kill the name mob, right? We can do that too. We're playing Hardcore Warcraft, people. Hardcore Warcraft. That means if your character dies, they become a ghost and they cannot be resurrected. And we have a lot of time and effort, blood, sweat, and tears into these characters. This is my highest level hardcore character at level 46. Yes, it's a paladin. Yes, it's the alliance. No, it's not self-found. It's just regular hardcore. We're going to get back to that hardcore self-found shaman. I almost made one last night. I even came up with a new name, right? We had Epic Vision. Original, I know. And then we went, enough's enough. We've died too many times. This one has to be the last one. So then we named it Epic Finale. Well, we had a couple instances of Epic Finale. Then Epic Finale was done. And we're like, you know what? It's okay. We're going to play Sod. Let's just get into it. Sod Pays Phase 3 came out. Let's do it. Epic Finale was not the end. We went Epic Insanity. Why? Because we're doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. So, Epic Insanity was born, and Epic Insanity didn't make it. No. So in order to get some wins under my belt, so to speak, I'm like, I'm gonna dust off Epic Light, who's been chilling since November, before Sod Phase 1 came out, Season of Discovery. That's the other game mode that we used to play, <laughs> that maybe someday we'll get back to, alright? People are having fun in Phase 3. Let's, let's, put, let's put some levels on Epic Light. And we have, man. We leveled up from 41 to 42 to 43 to 44, 45. We're currently at 46. Currently at 46. 14 levels away from 60, folks. We're almost there. And I'm going to have some kind of celebration once I hit 60. I don't know what it's going to be at. A level 53 just died. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? big F, baby. It's a big F. F's in chat. It may not mean what you think it means. F's in chat actually refers to what? A Call of Duty game, right? Or it refers to a, a character in a video game going to a funeral, and you hit the F key to pay your respects. Yeah. So F is you pay respects. So people just type F. Mm-hmm. Yep. Or they do the 07, like the salute, you know, 07. Yeah. Yeah. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Yeah, this coffee's almost done. I think I made my son happy by giving him a chocolate. Although he ate the, he ate the chocolate that I wanted. Now check this out. We got Reese's peanut butter eggs still. And we got some Cadbury. What is this? Cadbury caramel egg. Yeah. Got some sweet tart ropes. We got some gamer peel. Oh, maybe I just have a regular Hershey's. Or maybe I have a crackle. I'm not really a fan of the crackles. The crackles got the little rice puffy dealios, dealios in them. They're crackles. No. Oh. Do, 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 do. What's the weekend plans, everybody? What you guys got going on? I already told you my plans. Squaring up with Uncle Sam and taking care of the honey of the honeydew list. Yeah. Mhm. Mm <laughs> Amazon. My Amazon notification here is telling me they have a deal for me. They must be in cahoots with the goblins. Man, do I have a deal for you? Let's see what it is. While we're waiting for this wonderful buff to drop. It's an Odyssey OLED G9, 49 inch ultra, ultra widescreen. That's a negatory, folks. That is a 100% negatory for your boy. 4K all the way. Heard something. Well. It's not good. I 
I know it's like watching paint dry, I'm sorry. But when it happens, it's going to be really cool. Look at all the people here. Look at all the people up on top up here. All the people here on this ledge. All the people down below. And we still got like two minutes before it drops, if it drops on time. That was a bad idea. I walked right through there. How did they get up on there? Oh, that feels very dangerous. Look, there's a bunch of people down there. There's people everywhere, man. There's people over here. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody else out there playing any of the versions of Warcraft? Hey, cut the Cataclysm. The catacly Cataclysm is about to drop, right? What does it say here? The Cataclysm Classic pre-expansion patch goes live April 30th. April 30th, the world is sundered. And then Cataclysm itself drops on May 20th. Now, my, uh, my dad who passed away, his birthday was May 21st. So, just in time, Cataclysm. It's coming, folks. It's coming. You play Classic. You're playing... Wrath of the Lich King classic right now. You're moving to Kata, right? That's what's happening. And ladies and gentlemen, Zandalar is going to drop in 50 seconds. That was that alert you heard. That alert is brought to you by the Nova World Buffs add-on. Okay, Nova World Buffs add-on. It actually it has the logo of Anixia here, the rallying cry of the Dragon Slayer buff. Here it comes, folks. Here it comes. Hopefully we all get blasted with lightning. We're here to see it. We're here to see it. Everyone gets blasted with lightning. Any minute now. Any second now. Any year now. And there we go, folks. Up you look at the top, we have the Spirit of Zandalar. We're going to go ahead really quick and hit our Hearthstone, which takes us back to the beautiful Alliance capital city of Stormwind. Yeah. Built by the Defias stonemasons. Yeah. That's why the Defias are so mad is because the nobles didn't pay them. And that whole fight, that whole feud, that whole back and forth between the nobles of Stormwind and the Defias was caused by Anixia. Yeah, Lady Crestor, who's currently in the castle right now. Yeah. She caused all that hassle. Lore, my buddy old pal, where should we go next? Where do, where do, where do you need to go? Because I know I'm a little bit ahead of you. What quest do you boys do you have that are close? Anything close? Did we lose Lore? You know, my closest thing would be... With sorrows, but which is getting the driftwood though. Okay. Oh, before we get the driftwood, we want to get the, the the claws, right? So, man, that's right where we were, bro. Where we were, where we were killing those murlocs. Where we were killing those murlocs to get the hand of Dagoon, or Dagoon, or Dagoon. Those turtles that are there, that's the first part of the quest. You want to get that, you want to kill those turtles. Those are the tongues. And then we get the... The crawler claws after that. You can get the, the claws at the same time as you can get the... Oh, we got the buff. We didn't get a sound effect or anything, but we have it. Rallying Cry of the Dragon Slayer has dropped. Okay, so let's let's do this lore. Go ahead and hit your M key, pull up your map, and then go over to Kalamador, and then we want to go to Dust Swallow Marsh. Not in Theramore proper, but if you follow the road up to where that first questy boy is, by Swamp Eye Jarl, what quest does he have there for you?
Uh, just the soothing spices, not pork report. And which one? Pork report and uh, soothing spices. That's it. I wonder if you have to you turn those in, and then you go back and get it. Well, let's just go to Swamp of Sorrows. It's not a big deal. It's just, just kind of nice to you can bang out two quests at once. Well, let's go get that driftwood. So we have to fly over to the Blasted Lands. Yeah, let's do it. King's honor, friend. I need a ride. Nether Grade Keep, Blasted Lands. Three minutes. In the air. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Feeling Sam Solo is gonna go to sleep. He's gonna take a nap, which may or may so? not be good. Nah, eh, may or may not be good though. I'd rather have him go to bed early, but. Oh, the mage died doing the mage quest. Well, River Paul brewed at level 16. Hey, I hate to see people dying. I do. But you know what it means? It means there's a lot of people playing hardcore, which is awesome. Yeah, look at our death log over here. We got a 16, a 15, a 10, a 15, a 53 from earlier. We got the 23. No. Lots of deaths on the Alliance side. The Alliance on this server defies Pillager. It's the North American East Coast server. DP. Yeah, DP defies Pillager. We're on the DP server. About to get down to it. I hope you're all ready. We are about to get down to it, and I hope that you are all ready. Ready to rumble! Chat be wilding out, folks. That's why I got my big old head covering chat, just so y'all know. It's dangerous over here. We got that flying dragon. No. You got stone art here right in the middle. You get plague for PvP. Right. We're gonna come back. We're gonna cut over to that coast. Get large driftwood. The Outlands inspired by. Look at the portal's there. Look at the portal's there. Except you can't go through it in Classic Warcraft. Ghoul Dan hasn't opened it yet. Go ahead and uh, get our weapon buff. Get a little food buff. This is the big old piece of bread, it looks like. That's still horse. We're coming through with the, the druid buffs. Best mark in the game. Let's go, baby. Oh! Oh, your boy's timing was off there by a millisecond. Got it. See how it said I interrupted it? But I didn't. I didn't. We made up for it the second time. Alright, now Laura and I should both be the same speed. No, you're yeah. gonna be a little bit faster, I think. No, I shouldn't be. With the world buffs, that should negate my speed. Interesting. I wonder 
why that is. Movement, movement increases movement speed by 10%, okay? my movement speed, which comes from talent, because I'm a very talented individual. Pursuit of Justice, it says this does not stack with other movement speed increasing effects. So some somebody's wrong. Somebody's lying. Am I really pulling ahead of you? Yes. Well, there's that, okay? So, obviously the talent is stacking. This is the wrong way I know, but there's a shiny over here. And you know your boy in shinies, so I gotta get him. Gotta get him all. It's too far away. This is called Iron Ore. So we're gonna hit this node. So far it's a one banger. Most nodes are either between two, three, or four bangers. It's a two banger. It's a three banger, folks. Three bangers are what we like. But you know what? If you can bang it four times, which is what I just did, you get the most value out of the node. Blizzard has blessed us with our first iron node. And she was a four banger. All right, let's go. Why is it a she? It's Mother Azeroth, baby. It's a she. It's a she. Don't be mad at me. The pronoun I choose to use. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. All right, nobody dies here. Nobody even gets flagged for PvP. We're just gonna run. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Bruce. That's right, baby. Let's go. Yeah. It's a family-friendly stream, ladies and gentlemen. A little innuendos. Okay. Hope you guys watch Disney movies. There's innuendo all over the place in those. That's why. How come adults can sit through them, right? Playing video games here, folks. It's almost the same thing. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Family-friendly all the way. 100%. Keeping it. We're keeping it. PG-12. <laughs> PG-12. Let's go. Ba -da -da. <laughs> Death Strike Tarantulas. Laura, are you okay back there? Well, we're coming. We got a tarantula family on us. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Your boy's been knocked off. And if you read the death alert, someone just got killed from a tarantula. That is not a that was not a joke. That was definitely not a joke. Was it forecasting? Was it predicting our demise? Absolutely not. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you scared? I was never scared. Not even a little bit. I got my paladin boy here with me. And I'm a, my paladin, my druid boy. My druid friend. Yeah, but look at this this person literally died by a tarantula. Look at it, it says killed by tarantula. <laughs> Oh, that's not a good feeling. Shiny. Some more iron. So my other paladin, Adamic, my namesake, who's my blacksmith? He needs all this iron. Yeah, he's almost at the point where he exclusively needs Mithril, but he can use a little more iron to level up. Yeah, but for him to go above 225 uh, blacksmithing, he, we have to actually level his character up. So we're going to have to work on him. Get his mining up to the point where we can smelt gold. I have a whole bunch of gold saved on Epic Bank. And then after we're done smelting gold to level, we'll, smelt, we'll be able to smelt Mithril. Okay, so down here on this end, it's harder. If we head north, it's easier. Should we see what we got here? Like, what level is this, 42? I mean, the two of us together, we probably shouldn't have a problem, but... They are murlocs, after all. It's literally a marsh murloc. Okay. There's a piece of driftwood right there, right? Right here? Murgle, 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 argle, argle, argle. What is this dude doing? Stone 2 snapper, he's just chilling there in the water.
Ink spewer. Oh, that was the wrong buff. I sure, sure didn't want to do that. You've been hit with ink, bro. Can I just spell that from you? That spell isn't ready yet. What right here, right? It's just going into combat. No, you're not gonna do it. You're not gonna do it. But what you are gonna do is you're gonna get this mace straight to your face. Let's go, baby. Little by little, we're smoking fools. Little by little. Let's, let's get the easy ones. No reason to risk it unnecessarily for the biscuit. Biscuits sound good, honestly. Biscuits, some buttermilk biscuits. Oh man, how about some biscuits and gravy? Anybody out there like biscuits and gravy? Biscuits and gravy is good, man. It's good. Your boy really likes it. But you know what? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, it does, man. I think I like cornbread better than biscuits. You know, like a little cornbread muffin. Biscuits are good though, man. They're really good. Here's one right here, bro. Let's stand tall. Let's let these Murlocs know what's up. That's right. I'm coming to your beach with my boy, and we're taking your wood. What are you going to do about it? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Getting close to ZF time. What's going on, JR? Welcome to the chat, baby. Happy Friday, my friend. Happy best in slot day. That's right. To me, Fridays are the best in slot days. Dun, 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 dun. Getting close to Zulfarak, yeah, man. Yeah, we could we could pull off a ZFR, no problem. No problem. Yeah. Show those so those trolls over there. What's good? Let's try it. Be a healing machine in Zulfarak. It's only there's there's really in Zulfarak there's two parts that kind of well. Zulfarak as a whole can be a little bit scary, right? Definitely need good good crowd control. Gonna take a lot of shadow damage, okay? So you gotta know the priority on how to kill things. But the two areas that give me a little bit of pause, number one, the first boss that you kill that summons his little uh, ballasts, right? Theoretically, it should be an easy fight, but it, stuff goes wrong there. Stuff goes wrong there. The other fight that concerns me... Exceptional has been slain by remote control Golem at level 10. What? I don't even know what that means. The other fight that concerns me is the staircase, right? Climbing the stairs. Round one, round two, and then find the dudes at the bottom of the stairs. Like, do I have enough mana to endure the length of that fight? Wood? You're still looking for wood? Some wood right here. <clears throat> Jarquia. Lolo and the Witch Doctor. God forbid the graves, yeah. Yeah, people go in there and start clicking on graves like, oh, what do these do? Yeah. Yeah, so you don't want to be in... Yeah, that's it. You don't want to be in Zulf Rock with noobs. Or you got to go to the guard and turn it in, right? What does this guy need over here? He doesn't need anything, but I'll buff him. So this must be a quest to kill this thing. Remember I was talking about that the other day? Is a rope? 
again here southbound. trying to follow this guy. But if he has the best path forward. Oh, 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 there's Dragon. There's Big Dragon. There's Big Dragon. And we're getting followed by Little Dragons, but that's much better than Big Dragon. Shadow Panther's coming at us. Check him out in the background, folks. You see him? Oh, we just got out of his range. Oh, Shadow Panther knocked me off my Mountie Boy. He was there, folks. He was there chilling. He was there chilling. I didn't know he came this far over. I did not know that. Terramus, right? Can we split these defenders and go take a closer look? Like... <coughs> oh, there he is. Look at Sam Samnus. Samnus. There he is. Look at the he's elite. Look how much life he has. Lars messing around with the dragon can here. Let's fight him. Oh, they tried sleeping me, but I resisted, bro. I resisted. We got these jokers. Yeah, we're too high level. Look at them. Look at them back there, folks. Look at them. Look at that dragon will straight one or two shot ya. Straight shot ya. Yes, they will. Yeah, we moved in just to get a little bit closer. Looking for two more ZF... Zil looking for two more ZFDTS. <laughs> Holy stats. 47 Paladin Fellowship of the Bling. Yeah, yeah. People are needy for a little bit of ZF. I think we should get Laura up a little higher. Alright, well. So we go down and around this way. We'll, we'll go the same way we can. I feel it's the best option. Yeah, man, a little biscuits and gravy. Oh, it sounds so good. It sounds so good. Boy's hungry. What have I had today? Well, let me tell you. I ate so good today. I started the morning off with a coffee. What's this dude? Oh, we didn't run past this before, did we? That was like at 4.30 in the morning we had a coffee. Yeah, and then I had a donut. Like a cinnamon roll donut with chocolate on top and little peanuts. I think they call it a pinwheel. They had one of those. Yeah, then when it was time for my second coffee, I did that. Had some water. And you'll never guess what I had like three hours after my first donut. Oh, I had a banana. I actually had a banana first. I had a banana before my first coffee. When I, when I got done taking the dog out, there's some shiny over here. Looks like gold, actually. I had a banana. So I did, I did have something healthy today. A banana, a couple cups of coffee that pinwheel donut which was awesome then I had another donut yeah it was like the croissant it was like a croissant <sighs> so good yeah then for lunch you'll never guess I ate so good for lunch you guys would be so proud of me yeah my wife made Nathan's hot dogs <laughs> yeah and boiled them skillet fried them the other night for uh, for dinner some bakery fresh buns oh man little bit of mustard. I do put ketchup on my hot dog. Some sweet relish and some diced up onion. Yeah, I had that with kettle chips. Yeah, so your boy has been the epitome of eating healthy today. And I just had a two little chocolate bars. Those are good too. Yeah, there's vegetables in there somewhere. Onions. Onions and relish. And tomatoes. I mean, that's all vegetables, right? That was good. So proud, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, but we're gonna have that stir fry tonight, so that's gonna that's gonna be good. And I'm gonna drink some papaya juice and some Red Bull. Like we're all good today. We're all good. Hey, Lore as my witness, who's in the headset with me. Okay, Lore at work. We normally have lunch together almost every day. Do I eat healthy at work? Yes, I do. Right? Normally, almost a mm -hmm. salad every day. If not a salad, I have the vegetables or whatever they're offering. Like your boy, your boy eats pretty good at work. I do. Thank you, Lore. Thank you. Just uh, this guy over here chilling by this busted down cart. Like, 
We're doing we're doing all this guy's work. We started the keto diet this week. Probably only 20 grams of carbs since Monday. Oh man. Well, good for you for giving that a go, man. Stick with it. Hope you get the the results that you're looking for there. Here he is, Watcher Biggs. He's just watching this. Back to another big. Go another big. Yep. All right, let's do it. <laughs> I know Syntax has been taking care of himself, going on walks and watching what he's been eating. It's good, man. You gotta take. Hey, as you get older, it's harder. It's a lot harder. Your body doesn't do things that it used to do, and. You gotta, you gotta take care of it. But yeah, we had leftover hot dogs. It was an easy lunch. And it was fast. I spent most of my lunch outside with Milton. Yeah. I didn't take that long of a lunch today either. Maybe 20 minutes, 25 at the most. Was what it felt like. I think like maybe 10 minutes of that was me eating and 15 or so minutes of that was me outside with the dog. Look at these guys. Just standing there hitting the ground. It's a rough life they have. Alright, after we turn this in, where to next? I got one thing in the hinterland. Okay, what do you got there? I'm just supposed to speak guy, right? with Thane Falstein. There you go, hinterlands. We did some hinterlands quests the other day, right? We were killing sludges and opening the cages. You probably got to do all that out there. Do you remember questing out there at all? Sent it in chat. The hinterlands, okay. It's another long, eleven minute flight. You don't? Do you have anything closer? No, huh? Probably not. No, the rest of the stuff is in like Daenerys and get in the uh, uh, what you were talking about before the Legacy Heart. Yeah. All right, let's head up there, at Eerie Peak. Let's go, hinterlands. We'll take a ride. We'll take a ride. We'll go a little bit of Alt Z. I at least appreciate I have the, to go to that. I don't have the hinterland, so I gotta go to the rat refugee point. Okay. I'll tell you what, as I get close to there, I'll request a stop. It's already paid full price to go to the hinterlands, and they don't give you a refund. They sure don't. Yeah. If I remember to turn all Z back on. Look how beautiful the sun is. Look at this. It's so nice, man. It's so nice. Has anybody looked any more into the WoW remix of, of uh, Mr. Pandaria, right? Has anybody looked more into that? Anybody interested in that? We, we kind of briefly looked at it yesterday or the day before. It's another game mode that they're introducing. Yeah, WoW remix. The other cool thing that I heard yesterday is Zaryu, through Twitch Rivals, is his conducting his own Plunderstorm tournament. I think 20,000 bucks is on the line, and his playing, he's teamed up with his boy Peekaboo and Snuts. Yeah. How can those three together lose to anybody? I don't know. I didn't get to listen to any Zaryu today at all. He's probably still on right now, as a matter of fact. Maybe. So I didn't get to hear any more information about it. I heard a little bit yesterday when I was at work. I had it on. Listening when I could, but it's hard. You know, work, you're focused. I listen to Twitch kind of like the radio, right? It's background noise. When I can. 
but uh, work's been crazy. It re it's it's really been crazy. It has not let up since the year started. We might have had a day or two where things were kind of like okay, you know, it feels like there's a lot of people on vacation type of thing. But man, it's just been pedal to the metal, and we're man, we're almost halfway through April. I can't believe it. Time's flying. That's why we gotta keep having fun. Time flies when you're having fun. Do -do -do, do -do -do. I'm right back at it next week, man. Next week, I'll be in the office Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, I'm half a day work from home. And then I think uh, my one-year-old has another ENT, ear, nose, and throat specialist appointment. So we're going to go to that. And then Friday, Friday I think I'm working from home, at least as of right now. We'll see how that goes. But Laura and I were talking about maybe doing something on Friday. Which I haven't talked to Mrs. Epic Vision about yet, Laura. <laughs> but I'm sure she'll be okay with it if, we, if you still wanted to do that. Or maybe we were going to do it Saturday. Can't remember now. We, we had talked about a couple different things. Are you with me, sir? Are you still there? Falling asleep, flying? Mm hmm. Yep. Welcome to the chat, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with your boy. Hey, we're on a long flight right now from Nether Grade Keep out to the Hinterlands. Yeah, it's kind of cool, right? Without the whole interface going, you can actually like look at all the scenery and get to see the waterfalls. Now we're going to get into like the Searing Gorge area. I remember the first time flying over this. You're like, oh my goodness gracious, what is happening in the world of Warcraft? This is all because of Regnor. Regn Ragnaros, right? Ragnaros? He was the first boss when, when World of Warcraft when World of Warcraft first came out 19 years ago Ragnaros was the first boss right at the end of Molten Core? I'm pretty sure before the other raids were introduced. Mm -hmm. Have I ever defeated Ragnaros? I have not. I've never done any um, classic raiding. Never. Do I think I will? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Hey, maybe. Maybe my chance will be in Season of Discovery if I actually get a guy up there and we do that. I guess it wouldn't technically be classic, even though it's classic, right? All the... What is classic, right? Classic is really new. Semantics, twisting words. Never really quested out here either. I've done some stuff out here, but not a lot. You could come quest right here probably right now. Yeah. I've been to the Alliance Light Path, which is somewhere. It's up here, right? It's shared. Isn't the Thorium Brotherhood right here too? There's a blacksmith you have to come here and do something, I'm pretty sure. Right up in here. Pretty, pretty, pretty sure. Yeah. What's good, everybody? What's good? Happy Friday. I had that vitamin water not that long ago. The best in slot vitamin water. The tropical one. Has a little bit of caffeine in it. Now I'm drinking this cup of coffee. The caffeine's got me going, man. It's got me going. It feels good. Does that mean we're going to crash? Maybe. Maybe we'll eat and we'll take a little dip, right? When that blood sugar goes up a little bit. Yeah. But then we'll counteract our blood sugar by adding more sugar. Yeah. Guava. And OG Red Bull, it's happening. It's happening. Man, people are dying right and left. The death alerts are popping. But at the same time, did you hear that applause? I heard that applause in my headphones. That means somebody hit level 60. Yeah. There's the beautiful Iron Forge, the Dwarven capital. Mm -hmm. How can it not remind you of Lord of the Rings, right? Mm -hmm. 
World of Warcraft came out after the one of the Lord of the Rings movies, right? Has it been that long? Lord of the Rings movies have been out for 19 years? It's been a while, right? When did the first one come out? The Fellowship of the Ring. That has to be pretty close. Hey Siri, when did the first Lord of the Rings movie come out? I have all these Siri devices and not a single one of them responded to me. That's how it be. Hey Siri, when did the first Lord of the Rings movie come out? <laughs> it gave me the one from 1978, the animated one. Have you guys ever seen that one? The animated Lord of the Rings from 1978? I have. Yeah, there's a song in there that goes... You already so amped? Yeah. It's animated. And, um... There's a song where the orcs are, like... Marching toward battle, right? And it goes, Where there's a whip, there's a way. Where there's a whip. And it goes, The whip sound effect. There's a way. I'm gonna sing, alright? And it's horrible. But this song has stuck with me ever since I've seen it, since I was a kid. And it goes, we don't want to go to war to... I'll, I'll just say it. We don't want to go to war today. But the Lord of the Whip says, nay, nay, nay. We're going to march all day, all day, all day. Because where there's a whip, there's a way. Yeah. It's in there. I checked it out not that long ago because I think it was on HBO Max or Max or whatever the heck it's called now. And I watched it, and it's like an abbreviated version of it all. It's like an hour, hour and a half long. Yeah, 1978. Hey Siri, when did the Peter Jackson Lord of the Rings movie come out? Two thousand and one. Two Towers was 2002, and Return of the King was 2003. Nowadays, they would have spaced those jokers out three years in between each one. But yeah, 2001. So Warcraft came out after all three of them, right? Because Warcraft came out 19 years ago. It'll be 19 years when? Like in November or something like that? October? So yeah, all three of those came out. Yeah, so Return of the King would have come out before Warcraft did. Because Warcraft came out in 2004, right? Yeah. Think there was any inspiration? Bro, wasn't that like 2001? You're right, the first one was 2001. That's what we just saw, right? Yeah. It's crazy to think about that. Crazy. Ah, uh, is this where I can request my flight? Let's go Alt-Z. Or is it too late? You requested the stop at the next available flight master. Oh, I might land in South Shore here. Back to back when people hustled, yeah. Movies in back to back years, kind of like the Harry Potters, yeah. Yeah. So I was never a Harry Potter enjoyer, <clears throat> okay? Never got into Harry Potter. In fact, I was kind of opposed to it. I really don't know why. But my wife was a big Harry Potter fan, and I didn't know that. And uh, she is the one who really introduced me to the Harry Potter movies, man. And we've watched them all so many times. I bought them on Blu-ray, I bought them on 4K Blu-ray, I have them on the Apple TV. Yeah. Did you know that there were extended editions to the first two Harry Potter movies? They're, they're extended editions you can watch with, like, scenes that they cut out, right, during editing, but they, they have a final copy of it that you can watch. It changes some of the perspective on certain things that's ha that have happened. So, I missed the... Arathi Highland. Did you land already? I did. You did? Okay. Uh, I was actually running. Where are you? You're there. I was actually running. I can I can run back, I guess. The Altar of Zul, maybe together you and I can do the Altar of Zul.
Yeah, where there's a whip, there's a way. Where there's a whip. Yeah, man, I'm telling you. Maybe the maybe that song is just on YouTube. Could very well be. Someone's probably got it clipped out there. 1978 animated Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I think that's actually my first like ever knowing of what it was. I watched that. Then we had a Hobbit video game. It was a text-based game on the Commodore 64. Yeah, we had a Commodore 64. My dad, my dad always worked as a as a specialized machinist, right? He worked in a factory. That's always what he did. But he loved computers, man. And he was self-taught on all of it, well before the internet, right? And uh, and we were poor as heck. I don't even know how we got a Commodore 64, but um, yeah, we had a Commodore 64. And on there was a text-based version of The Hobbit. And the game would crash. You'd get up to the cave with the spider, and um, the game would crash there every single time. So. Commodore 64 is the goat, yeah. You've been listening to all this, but it's dinner. Eat. Yeah, I get you, bro. I get you. I get you. Thanks for being in the chat, man. I do appreciate it. There he is. All right, let's go. Yeah, I remember we always wanted to get an Amiga, right? Because an Amiga was really like the, the computing platform, but we never got an Amiga. But Commodore 64, man, bro, we used to load video games off of cassette tapes. For those of you who know what cassette tapes are, right? Actual cassette tapes. That's how we would save and load our video games before the floppy drives came out. Yeah. Yeah, then we had the big floppies, the five and, what were they, five and a quarter? Literally floppy disks, right? Those replace cassette tapes. Yeah, your boy's been, your boy's been in the computer game a long time. Yeah, and then, yeah, the Commodore 64, man. I remember playing F1 on the Commodore 64. I remember this. I remember, okay? I don't know how old I was, but I was pretty young. Syntax might not even remember this at all. But I remember my uh, my mom would make my dad breakfast. He'd usually, and this is when we were smaller, right? Obviously it changed throughout as they got older, but my dad would eat scrambled eggs. My mom would make my dad scrambled eggs. She would take it upstairs, because their bedroom was upstairs where the computer was, and uh, give him his breakfast, scrambled eggs and toast coffee and uh remember my dad's like you gotta you guys gotta come check out what i can do on the computer and i'm like okay he's like you gotta check it out i've been working on this for like a week all of his free time working on this for like a week right i'm like all right man he's like you gotta see it it's so cool like he finished his breakfast he came down and was like you guys gotta come and check this out I'm like, all right dad so i go up there and he goes sit down i said okay and now the, the monitor, we had a really cool Commodore 64 monitor. It was small, but it was it was it was awesome. And I remember how awesome it was because we hooked up our regular Nintendo to it back in the day. You know, with the RCA jacks in the front, the the red, the yellow, and the and the white, right? So you got your stereo sound and your video signal, and it looked better than any TV did. So he's like, okay, you ready? I'm like, I'm ready, yeah. So, screen's black, right? He's like, watch. And hits the space bar on the keyboard. <laughs> and literally, literally, two rectangles go across the screen. Like, I think one was red and one was blue, right? And they literally just go across the screen. And you can, you can see them drawing, right? One went one way, one went another way, and then like a green one came all the way across the screen at a different speed, and then a yellow one came across the screen. He's like, check that out. What do you think about that? Isn't that awesome? I'm like, what is this? Right? He was so proud that he programmed, like he wrote that all in code, right? And I, I had no appreciation for what it was at the time. No. But it made it made for a really good story now. And I remember him being so proud and I'm just looking at it like this is ridiculous. Like this is what you've been doing up here for a week. <laughs> Programming colors to fly across the screen. I had no idea though, right? I literally had no idea what it took him to do that. Like he learned how to do it all on his own. And uh, yeah, that was my that was my dad programming on the Commodore 64 colored blocks across the screen. He was so proud of it. Yeah, looking back now, it's like man, 
I had no idea how cool that was. Yeah. <laughs> what a story, huh? Oh, man. <clears throat> yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, maybe that's when I knew that I didn't really want to get into programming, even though I tried, and I did it in high school. I actually started my college career as a computer science major for programming. And uh, your boy's brain, I just didn't have it, man. I couldn't do it. No. So, yeah. Yeah. I should have should have known. I should have known from way back then. Yeah. I'm working things out on stream with you all. Yeah, I'm working things out. We're, we're figuring out my life, looking back at key moments. Pivotal, pivotal things that have happened. <laughs> all right, Laura, what you got, homie? What you want to do here? Up the hill? Let's go. You'll show me? Okay, let's go. Oh, oh he's, he's looking you? for the flight path. Oh, okay. Tell him, tell him you need 10 gold, bro. <laughs> Zorax. So he's a level 52 mage. He doesn't know where the flight path is here. Grinding, man. Grinding. Yeah, man. I can still see it sitting there, looking at that screen with the pixels going across the blocks, the colored colored rectangles. Yeah, man. Too much. Absolutely too much. You gotta come and see it. You gotta check out what I've been working on. He was so proud. Yeah. Should we tell him to get crispy? Tell him to do what? All right, what you got here, homie? What you got? You gotta open the cages. Mm-hmm. Okay, what else I do? You got? Killing slimes at Skull Rock. Did I not? I gotta get the necklaces, then I gotta get the cages, and okay. the sludges. And the sludges? Okay. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, isn't there normally a quest over here to kill these wolves? Like, the two different kinds of wolves? Mm-hmm. And for some reason... But I don't you... think you get it from here. Okay. So well, maybe that's why. But you're right. Yeah. Probably had to kill wolves out here. So I've, I've done you all do. this. And isn't there a quest to go in here to look for this dude's body? The book? I wonder if there's a book one. I wonder if we did all these already. It's possible. Here's a food crate. Yeah, because you usually got to come over here to look for... Uh... I forget what his name is. You got to grab something in here. Anyway. Oh, 39. Alright, you lead the way. <laughs> the sky's red back there. Red skies. Uh, not a not a sailor's delight, or is it sailor's delight? Oh, sludges are at the level forty-eight quest. Yeah, I did sludges on my own. We can do it together, no problem. Just gotta, we just gotta be careful. But we can do sludges. Stay away from the voodoo man. We gotta go over here to the right. Yeah, I'm getting the necklaces. Oh, we're gonna get all the necklaces, bro. Stay away from the voodoo. Oh, I'm gonna stay away. They, they call me epic two times. Two times. It's because I say everything three times. Sometimes two times.
I keep hitting cleanse because it looks like renew. It looks exactly like the priest's renew icon, but it's not. What's going on on my kick, people? What's happening out there, huh? We have 59 followers on kick. 59. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I've actually had the official uh, kick X account retweet my posts a couple times. That's pretty cool. I'm trying to help people get up to uh, whatever their first level is called. But we're doing it 100% natty, folks. That's right. We're building these channels from scratch 100% natty. People find them. If they like it, they stick around. If they don't like it, they move on. Vagosh just got somebody. Vagosh. Yeah. Open your cages, homie. Open sesame. I'll take care of these, uh... Winter Bark Scalpers. Uh, no. Moss Hide Fern Runner. Those suck. All of those Moss Hide dudes out in the wetlands, man, you can forget about them. They spawn so fast. Like, those quests are not worth doing, in my opinion, unless you're AoE farming as a mage or in a group. It's just not worth it, man. It's just, it's straight death. Yeah. The wetlands. Um, you want to know what's crazy? All right, maybe it's not that crazy, okay? But what? The last time I cut my grass probably was when November, maybe October even, maybe October, okay? And your boy's somewhat of a perfectionist when it comes to cutting his grass. I like to have, I like to have the lines, right? trying to pretend like I'm a major league ballpark or an NFL football field or whatever, right? I try to have the perfect lines, diamond patterns, right? That's why I cut my grass. Tell me why, after winter, okay? You've been cutting the grass for like six weeks? Yeah, man. I believe it. That's that Texas, that's that Texas uh, spring. Tell me why, after all of winter, all of the... You know, the ground freezing, it's snowing, melting, snowing, melting, snowing, melting. Does the grass still have those patterns? That's insane to me. It's absolutely insane to me. No, not all the grass, because obviously Merton, Merton, <laughs> Merton, that's, the, that's what I'm going to call my next dog, Merton. Milton has burnt it out, right? We talked about that earlier in the stream. Yeah. Big dog, big number ones. Yeah. Burnt out my grass. Merton. Ladies and gentlemen, my 125 pound Connie Curse. Connie Corso by the name of Merton. <laughs> ah. Tell me Milton's not a good dog name. It's a good dog name, right? Have you ever had a dog named Milton? Probably not. But it's a good dog name. It really is. I'm proud of that one. Remember earlier today I was talking about Thomas Aquinas, like the question that I was asked, like if you had to have lunch from somebody, if you, if you had the opportunity to have lunch with a historical figure, who would you pick, right? And all the thought I put into it, and I picked Thomas Aquinas. Yeah. You know where Milton comes from? Milton is also kind of a play on words. John Milton. You know who John, his name is John Milton, right? I'm pretty sure it's John Milton. Who, who wrote Paradise Lost, Paradise Gained? Pretty sure that was John Milton. Or maybe John Milton was a character in the book. I don't know. Maybe I'm totally mixing it up. But isn't that Milton? Isn't that John Milton? Somebody help me out here. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Who wrote Paradise Lost? It was John Milton in 1667. Okay. All right. So John Milton. Yeah, your boy's got a little bit of education for whatever the heck it's worth, right? For interesting, weird facts that just pop into my mind randomly. Okay? I don't know how Paradise Lost and John Milton came into my head when it came to naming my dog, but it did. The other part of it is, you guys know I'm from Milwaukee, right? The city of Milwaukee, that's where I was born, raised, grew up. I don't live there anymore, we're far north of there. But that's where I'm from, okay? 
you look up Milton, it literally means from Mill Town. It means from Mill Town. Yeah, and that's kind of like one of the slang words for names of the city of Milwaukee, Mill Town. Yeah, so Milton. And Milton actually did come from uh, Milwaukee, the breeders there. Yeah, so. There you go, folks. That's how Milton got his name. Oh, I remember how I came, how I was kind of on the rabbit trail with John Milton. I remember some of it. Because <laughs> Cane Corso is an Italian dog, right? The Romans used them in war. And I think the Romans, who came first, the Romans or the Greeks? The Greeks came first, then the Romans. I think the Romans actually took them from the Greeks. And then going back through looking up Greek names for dogs, like, you know, people name them Zeus and things like that. And I think when I went down that rabbit trail, 